welcome weekly project review with justin and Corey matic today so this one has been quite the it's been quite the journey on matic i'm trying I, it was polygon before mm -hmm. so there was a fair bit going on there um cool project has done very well and uh gonna be exploring it more for uh, the DeFi course as well. So lots to dive through. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I haven't really used Matic um, at all. There's a little bit. I was kind of laughing at myself the other day because I found like 40 bucks of Matic sitting on my MetaMask account. I think just from, I was dabbling, doing something. I can't remember what I was doing, but Typically, straight to the, you know, cutting straight to the chase, Matic is a layer two blockchain on Ethereum. So they're looking to increase transaction output as well as reduce fees. So quite popular, more in the Uniswap space, uh, DeFi. Um, the only, not necessarily concern, but there's the potential for Matic, depending on how Ethereum transitions in the future, Matic could become obsolete, but... It's kind of like we were talking about BNB being the leader of DeFi and, you know, that's going to be obsolete. Obsolete. I think we were talking about that two years ago when BNB first came out and it's still, you know, two, three, four years later, you know, it's still dominating the space. So just because it might become obsolete doesn't mean that it's not a good investment right now. So yes. um, it has been quite the project to trade. I have traded it a fair bit. It's come up quite frequently actually it's been doing quite well so uh yeah lots to discuss today yeah let's get right into it so as always going to our handy dandy coin gecko so polygon is really that layer two that that's trying to scale up ethereum make it a little more accessible for you know not just big money when ethereum had such high fees Matic kind of provided that layer two for quicker transactions, cheaper transactions, as Corey said. So all the information that we love CoinGecko for. So we've got our contract address right here with the little Ethereum logo. So right off the hop, you know that this is on the Ethereum network. And you can see that with the Explorer using Etherscan. But widely supported and accepted tons of wallets that, that support it directly from their wallet rather than using a third-party wallet. Um, and we got our max supply there at 10 billion. So something we always look for. And then the amount of coins that are circulating right now. So we're getting close to that 10 billion. Uh, lots of volume coming through. Sorry? Sorry. Can you go back to that breakdown before we get too far? Yeah. Let's see if I can pull that up again somehow. Oh. Circulating supply. So I, I actually really like that they have this on there. So network mining and seeding, they've got 302 million vesting contract, 273 million and foundation contract, 565 million. So there is a good breakdown. Yeah, they do a good job. Supply. I do really like seeing awesome. that. So um, I did really want to stop and just say, beautiful. I love seeing a max supply. Uh, we were talking, I think it was Ethereum and it was just infinite. Wasn't it the one with the infinite? Yeah, Ethereum right off the hop says, says infinite supply. And because they really don't have, it, it's such a massive project and it's continually evolving. They don't want to limit themselves is kind yeah. of the excuse, but it opens it up for manipulation and such as well too. So, Yeah, that's one of the things that I really look for as a cap. I don't want to see, you know, infinite when it comes to that. That's the big reason I'm in crypto in the first place. Uh, get away from inflationary or hyperinflationary assets. Um, yeah, that's a good one to see. So I didn't mean to cut you off. You were on No, not at all. Not at all. It's good info to, to get out there. So the other thing <clears> that <throat> I, I like looking at is the total value locked in. So if we look at the price of Matic and the total circulating supply that's out there, do some quick math, the high majority of the Matic that's out there is is locked in on contracts, staking, liquidity, things like this. So says something about the, the community's support for the project to me. Um, we can go to Max here. 
So quite the run up. And basically most of the crypto market looks just like this chart here. Um, really following Bitcoin. But we're starting to see some assets starting to break away from Bitcoin's stranglehold on on their price action. And for the year, you know, we're down 43.8 percent. That's that's a pretty good deal. We've seen a lot of cryptos down far more than that into the 80s and whatnot. And then down from its all time low or all time high is 67.8 percent at two dollars and 92 cents. So this thing has a lot of room to go and, and it has a great community you know, for me diving in and it's available on all major exchanges and really, really high liquidity. I mean, this is number 11 when it comes to market cap. So kind of what we'd expect, but there you can pick up Matic coins anywhere. So that's kind of it. What I got here on coin gecko, anything you want to dive into Corey before we move on to the website? No, no, let's jump right into the website. All right. So here's the Polygon website, nice and clean. I'm always looking at the community side of things, diving through that, just seeing what the sentiment is uh, from, from people in the community, people using Matic, you know, what kind of development they're looking for, their roadmap, things like that. But they've spent a lot of time on just providing some new solutions. So we're starting to see this, this ID piece coming in as we're moving towards Web3 and digital IDs. It's good to see some alternative solutions to the digital ID. And Polygon is is one of those that are kind of leading the charge on that. Um, I know quite a few developers that really enjoy building with Polygon. They just that layer two makes it a lot easier than some of the Ethereum uh, developer apps that they're using. Um, Tons of dApps, the bridges. We're starting to see a lot of bridges and just just connecting a lot of these different blockchains. But but like Corey said, I think it's important to 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 realize that as as there's all these different developers and companies and and in, and and solutions coming to the table, you know, a lot of them aren't going to make it long term. You know, this is going to get narrowed down. But that doesn't mean we can't take advantage of trading and investing now. We just have to really be able to manage those trades and look for those signs and get out when we have to. Risk management always comes back to risk management. But Under yeah. So <clears throat> as an investor, I might look for projects building on Polygon that uh, could be a good investment, you know, being 11 top market pat market cap um i don't really hold much in the top 20 even because i'm looking for good growth right now but that's one of the main strategies that i use i look at platforms like polygon you know even um yeah any of the main platforms where we're going to see some growth and then finding good projects in there that are going to disrupt the industry um, Polygon itself is doing that, you know, taking a lot of uh, the extra load when fees were super high uh, here a year and a half ago or two years, whenever it was at its peak. I can't remember. It's been so long. Um, that's where things became really apparent, right? Ethereum is bogged down. It is crazy expensive, $1,000 to send a transaction. We need solutions, right? So that's where Polygon really took... Um, yeah, took the world by storm and hasn't slowed down. So I remember kind of laughing at uh, there was a friend of mine who was really following Polygon when it shifted from Matic. And he was saying, you know, it's going to be a great investment, going to do lots of good things. And uh, I couldn't be bothered to look at it. And it's one that I was just like, ah, should have spent that next year, you know, 10 minutes to really explore this deeper. You know, it's one of those ones I've kicked myself. But uh, it's the name of the game, right? So there's always more opportunity. We're seeing, you know, potential right now where, you know, it's been pretty stable as far as price. It took uh, a lot less of a beating than a lot of the other projects out there. And uh, yeah, it's got a lot going for it too. So I really like the way that they've got the website done. Solutions, you know, this is how I would build a website. You know, solutions is the... Uh, number one that people are looking for right now. So really good to see that. Um, 
and then just the community is super strong too so there are some big announcements i can't remember which ones were shifted to polygon but uh instagram yeah instagram nfts will be huge um that was solana ethereum flow and matic i do believe or polygon for instagram so that's huge and then uh oh stripe yeah yeah that was the that's one big part of it. that was the one we just saw so global payouts with crypto using polygon so pretty sweet deal um definitely going to be diving much deeper into the world of polygon uh, in our DeFi course. So if you haven't already, definitely take a look. It is on bundle pre-sale until December 1st. So you can actually get the wallets and cold storage course along with the DeFi course for the same price as the DeFi course, 720. So lots more to come. Uh, we do have new partnerships there as well. So things are really heating up. Um, the guy that we're working with just had a coin that did 700% in three days after he got on publicly and tracked it all over Facebook. So, uh, just an example of what, you know, is so powerful in DeFi. Uh, one of the claims to fame is, I think it's 250,000% growth. So it was somewhere around, he put a, a thousand dollars in 250x a thousand dollars in and by i think 15 or nine to 15 months later that was worth two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. so those are some of the little gems that we're going to be digging up in the DeFi space in the course we've got weekly calls and uh, trainings for that as well so um, lots more to come when you're ready to take that step, that next step, that big crucial step, make sure to look us up. Uh, in the meantime, we do have our Friday AMA and live training as always. So coming up, uh, pretty quick. So, um, depending when you're watching this video, make sure to sign up for those. We do keep it fresh every single week. We do cover different things. Uh, we do share free trade setups earlier in the week. We review those strategy on those, how to see profits, how to make sure to protect your profits as well as risk. Um, zero capital is the goal always. So managing that risk, adjusting those stop losses, make sure to get that trade to be at least a free trade if the markets do turn. So lots of strategy to discuss there and uh, seeing profits everywhere. So lots more to come. Uh, any final words, closing statements, Justin? No, I'm just, just happy sharing these these reviews. I mean, it helps Corey and I. We, we can't track all of these projects, but we've committed to going through the list and, and really nailing these things down, diving a little bit deeper. And we find these these little gems that, you know, there's such a following for, and we start diving in, you're like, there's something there. So yeah, I really, really enjoyed just jumping on these, sharing this information, looking forward to hearing some feedback and then any other projects that you guys are, are following, you know, some of these smaller market cap, those little gems, the unicorns, the white buffaloes, whatever you want to call them, you know, love, love seeing those, love diving in and on those and just, just having some back and forth on, you know different opinions and, and what it might be i think that's really how we can grow and and take advantage of the markets regardless of you know price action and bitcoin and and all of those 100%. that's what community is all about right so we can achieve far more together than we can apart and we're much stronger together as well more eyes on the prize you know there's tons of different ways we can say it but that's what it comes down to so that's it for this week. We'll see you same time, same place next week. And uh, yeah, let us know if there's any projects that you want us to dive into. Looking forward to that feedback by Justin was saying. So that's it for now.